Hey guys, Clint here with American Patriot Defense, coming at you with another, uh, some gear review. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been MIA for a little bit, been doing a lot of training, just got back from gun site. Um, did my 350 class out there, um, been doing a lot of training with the agents, my agency and stuff as well. But, um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be uh, doing another optic review, um, and uh, eventually I'll do another gun review as well, but, uh, got a clear gun here, uh, got a p365 legion but the optic review i'm going to be doing is this romeo x so it's sig's new uh, micro red dot um <clears throat> uh for we'll call it their micro micro red dot their their small red dot platform um they they make it for a, a little bit a different a different uh i think they make it for a delta point uh platform as well but this is for the uh p365 so like it also fit like a if you're, if you're used to your uh, 507k or EPS carry, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a little bit of a cold going on too, guys. Uh, EPS carry, um, that same footprint. So, man, I was really uh, looking forward to this dot. I was really hoping I was going to like it, but I've kind of been um, a little disappointed. Um, it's not bad. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just get out there and just say it's not bad. It's not, you know, I can't, I can't say that it's, you know, it doesn't do anything really, really bad, but there's a few things I just, I just don't, I don't necessarily like about it. They missed, they had the opportunity to really do a good job in the sense of, I feel like this would have been a really good platform to do an enclosed emitter. Um, cause it, I mean, when I actually, when I first bought it, I didn't really look at the specs or anything and I thought it was an enclosed emitter and it's not. Um, but I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep rocking it. I'm going to rock it on this uh, pistol. And, and I put about a thousand rounds through it. So um, I, I feel like I can uh, talk about it a little bit now. But um, so let's talk about some key features on it. So <clears throat> it's aluminum, uh, aluminum housing. Um, it does have a low, low deck height or low bore height. So uh, anything like if you have uh, like a Glock 43 or a uh, regular P365, you're gonna, you're going to get that lower one third co witness. Actually, this this gun has backup iron sights uh, that doesn't remove, but you know some P365s, you you lose your rear sight, uh, you get your rear sight back with this optic, um, and it's got some um, uh, fiber optics uh, built in uh, into it, so you can kind of see that there. You get some fiber optics, so you get your rear sights back with that. So that's a pretty good feature. So you get a uh, two MOA dot. Uh, you get multiple reticles, so you can run a two MOA dot, uh, two MOA dot with a, a thirty-two MOA circle, or uh, you can do a, um, a thirty-two, just a thirty-two MOA circle. Uh, they do make a green version of it. This is the red version. Um, you get um, just brightness up, brightness down, 15 settings, it's a 1632 battery, um, about 20,000 20, hours of um, uh, runtime on just, if you're just running just the dot at medium brightness. So some other stuff it has is basically a shake awake, so motion activated illumination, so shake awake, uh, dark, dark adaptive reticle uh, coatings, um, so that says technology provides ideal reticle brightness and target clarity when using Gen 3 plus night vision devices. So if you're running night vision and odds, uh, it, it's supposed to make that clear on those lower, uh, lower night vision settings. So it's waterproof, uh, designed and developed and tested, assembled in the U S so it does have SIGs warranty. Uh, it comes with multiple different sets of screws in it. And, uh, one thing that. I didn't like about it as well is when you're, <clears throat> you know, I, I keep up my tools with me. When I go to the range, I keep uh, my fix it sticks with me. And when I went to the range, I, I was like, ah, I don't need the tools that it comes with, um, you know, to, to zero it because I've got my fix it sticks with me because, you know, my, my bag of fix it sticks has everything that any standard optic, you know, from rifle scopes all the way down to red dots. Um, you know, you would need, and then I got to the range to zero. Uh, I need the, the tiniest Torx bit to zero it. And that's one thing that just really, really irked me is I had to not shoot that, this gun that day. 
had to go all the way back to the house to get a Torx bit in order to get it zeroed. So something small should have checked it, uh, you know, uh, beforehand should have checked, you know, I should have did my PCCs, PCIs before that's, that's on me for not doing that. But, you know, be like the rest of the other place and either use, you know, a shell casing or, uh, a common, um, hex, uh, head, uh, not, not a, a slither of a Torx head, uh, that is going to strip eventually. So, um, but I didn't let that deter me on, on this, but that wasn't a good start. Um, the, my biggest issue with the optic is I can't keep it clean. Now I know if you're using a red dot properly, the cleanliness of the glass shouldn't be an issue. I, I get it. And, and that's, I, I completely understand, but I feel like I can clean the inside and the outside of the, the inside of the glass. And within just minutes later, after a few draws of concealment, and wearing it for a few hours, the inside is completely dirty. And I, I feel a lot of it is because the inside of this, um, because this, um, the shroud is so deep, it, it traps absolutely everything. And that's why I was saying that I think they missed a really, missed a really good mark where they could have, uh, made this a, a enclosed emitter, uh, by putting another piece of glass here. I know that would probably cause, you know, more engineering and, and whatnot, but I, I feel like they could have done, done something and made this an enclosed emitter and eliminated that, that need. Uh, because I mean, even now I just, I literally cleaned this yesterday and it just looks disgusting. Um, um, so that's one thing I just, I, I did not like about it and do not like about it. Uh, as for, <clears throat> you know, the brightness controls and the dot, the dot's nice and bright. I never lost the dot. Uh, it worked really, really well. Um, it has plenty of adjustments in brightness. So I can't say anything bad about that. The the side tray, the battery tray here, I actually really like this side, this large side tray. One thing I, <clears throat> I don't like about the Holliston side tray is the that really small screw and that, tr that, that tray table. Um, you know, if you lose that screw, you, I mean, you're SOL, you have to, you know, either get another screw or, you know, you've got to get another screw if you lose that screw. And, um, I'm always worried about over torquing that screw. This, I think this side tray is really good, but the bad thing about the side tray is it really bulks up this area. Um, you know, and that, and they, you know, this was their, this deeper shroud, this big shroud was their solution, uh, probably you know, do the patents and, and whatnot. So, you know, if the real estate's there, that's why I'm saying if the real estate's there, might as well go ahead and do an enclosed emitter. Right. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, buttons are really tax tactile. You can, you definitely know when you're pushing them up, and pushing them down, uh, never inadvertently turned them on and turned them off, uh, turned the optic off or anything like that. Um, uh, easy to get to, uh, through garment or undergarment, if I needed to brighten it up during the day, uh, during night, or anything like that, uh, or dim it during night and to brighten it up during the day. Um, glass uh, is, is pretty clear. I would say, just like a Holliston glass, there's a there's a slight blue tint, not as blue as like a Trigicon glass, but there is a there's a little bit of a blue tint there. Uh, there, I didn't, I'll, you know, this is a sample size of one. But I didn't notice any de deformation around the edges like uh, you get with some of the cheaper glasses. I know some of my EPS carries I've had in the past, I do get some glass deformation around the size uh, of, of that where I get some parallax. But, you know, nothing nothing major in this. Uh, I ran the majority of it just with the single dot. Um, but I did use uh, the 32 MOA uh, a little bit. If you ran a EOTech or, or, you know, the Holosun optics, you know, that, that reticle, it runs the same. Uh, it's no difference really. So I'm, I'm not going to beat that horse. Uh, insulation was, was a breeze. It mounts directly onto a P365 or something, anything similar. Um, but <clears throat> my, my biggest complaint was just how, how, uh, how dirty that, that glass gets. I just couldn't, I couldn't keep it clean. And, I feel like that, you know, as good as it looks, it looks good on the gun. 
Um, it, you know, uh, it performed overall, performed very well. Um, I just, man, it just really irked me. I, I don't feel like uh, like my 407 Ks and my 507 Ks, I never feel like I never had that, that issue that, as I did with this. And that could just be where I run in closed emitters now, uh, I, more now. Well, and I, I don't even run in closed emitters as much now because now on my Walthers, uh, you guys know now I've been running the 507 Comp and they don't get this dirty. And that's a that's a TV screen on 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 the on the gun. So I, I don't know. I think a lot of it has to do with that shroud and and it just traps a lot of stuff. So that that's that's my you know I feel like I'm really being really nitpicky about that, but I think that is a thing, especially if you're going to use this as a uh, can still carry op optic uh, that that needs to be addressed and important because where you are threat focused, even though you, the dot is usable through uh, occluded glass, by all means, if you're using a red dot fine, you're still looking through the glass. And part of being threat focused is to be uh, to target identify through that glass and be able to articulate what you're seeing through that glass. Uh, so. Um, I feel like there's a way to, you know, to keep it, um, be able to keep it clean. You need to be able to keep that glass clean um, <clears throat> for at least more than a day. And, or, you know, th that needs to be part of your, your check every day. If you're going to run this optic, you need to, you need to clean it multiple times a day um, with the proper cleaner. Um, I rain X all of my glasses in the front, on the front and rear glass for, you know, obviously reasons for rain reasons. I rain X this one. <clears throat> Um, never shot, got to shoot it in the rain. Uh, so I don't know how that performed, but, um, performance wise, it did fine. Um, never had any for, with a thousand rounds. I didn't do a torture test didn't drop it. Didn't do any of that thing. Didn't do any, uh, Aaron Cowan stuff to it. I just used it as a normal shooter would use it. Probably shot it faster and, and things, you know, than a normal shooter would use it. But um, I had no issues with it, but I just, I just, I feel like for the money, uh, there are other op options out there that are probably going to suit you better, especially in the enclosed emitter market. I feel like the, the enclosed emitter for the money, you could get an enclosed emitter option. That's going to be easier to maintain and give you the same features, um, or, or more features. So that's just my two cents on it. Take it for what it's worth. But that's that's all I've got to really say about it. You know, again, that's about a thousand rounds uh, with the uh, with it being mounted on a P365 Legion. Um, it will be coming off this gun as soon as I get a replacement. Uh, the replacements either going to be a I really want to try out a um, SCS carry. Um, so if anybody has an SCS carry and wants to maybe do a swap hit me up. We can maybe do a swap. Um, uh, or I, I, you know, the permanent opt option I'd like to look on this for this, uh, gun would probably be a EPS carry, uh, or similar. So, uh, or on arm RHD, I like big glass. So I, I it would be kind of ridiculous on this gun, but I like big glass. So I'd get a plate and run, run a full size optic on this probably. But again, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Again, uh, it's not not as in depth, but uh, there's you know I don't want to. Re I've been repeating myself, but I don't want to. You know the the features on this thing is about like all the other micro red dots out there. So uh, there's not a whole 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 lot of information to put out there. But I just wanted to give you guys my take on it and kind of let you know where I feel like if you're going to be spending your money, where your money needs to go. Uh, Spend your money where you want to, but I, I bought this. I spent my money on this, and that way you should or should not spend your money on it. So um, take it for what it's worth. So I appreciate it. Thanks for the support, guys, and I'll catch you later on the next one.